All right, this is a Westinghouse 46 inch LED TV. Uh, they're very common for having issues with the LED backlight not working or the TV not powering up. Um, right now it's upside down. Um, from the factory, the problem they have is this ribbon cable is wrapped very, very tightly around an aluminum heat sink where the LEDs are attached. That strip runs all the way across the top here. So what I did to fix that was I had to remove all of these metal tabs, these uh, mounting tabs, and I also removed this guy here, and I loosened up that one. And what I was able to do is remove this plastic strip. I actually watched another YouTube video of another uh, YouTube user's video that was very, very helpful on this assembly. So once you get this plastic out, you'll be able to see that LED strip. In my case, on this one, right about there where I drilled that hole for this, the cable to go in, I could actually see the white plastic from this cable melted onto this black plastic. When the TV is running like it is now, properly and it's running for a while you can actually feel this entire back piece here is pretty warm so the way I fixed this TV was once I got this piece out I was able to kinda of tilt the actual LCD glass towards me a little bit and that allowed me to see that ribbon cable which originally runs from the back of the circuit board it runs down there into that hole and then it runs up this channel over this way and then inside here it connects to the LED strip and the same thing on the other side it runs from the board there into that hole and then it runs up this channel and then it's wrapped around the heat sink up there so I managed to pull that cable out now one end of the cable is going to be melted and the other one's not so I put the non-melted end plugged that in here and then on the end that was melted what you want to do is cut the end off and also cut off a little bit of extra and you can see there that the uh, little extra bit is actually stacked in the connector there. And then the uh, cable itself, you take like a razor blade and uh, scrape it over and over again. And you go to scrape off that white plastic until you start to see the metal coming through. You just need to clean it up so you can see all the little metal pins, stick it in that connector, and then put a little extra tab on it, and then snap it in place. And you can also test these pins. They'll actually read about 51 volts um, on one side it'll read 51 volts, and then on the other side another one will also read 51 volts. That's the uh, LED power strip. Uh, drivers. And the other way to tell that the TV is actually functional is to unhook both of those LED cables, those two white cables, hit the power button, you'll see that little red LED turn on and then you shine a flashlight directly at the screen and you'll see a Westinghouse W logo on the screen but I managed to fix this one for free so I just took a Dremel drilled some holes approximately where those cables plug in and then unhooked the cables from where they were or you know peeled them off from the adhesive once I'm done with this which I pretty much am I'm gonna take this cable and stick it back on here with some double-sided tape but I'm gonna stick it 
pretty much right there like that. I want to avoid this area because it's very very hot right here. It's already starting to get pretty warm. So that's how you fix a Westinghouse 46 inch LED TV for free.